main message of today was to be a radically candid leader. And what I mean by that is show the people who you work with that you care personally about them at the same time that you're willing to challenge them directly when you disagree with them. I think far too often young leaders think they have to choose between being nice and being effective. And that's a false dichotomy. And that's what radical candor tries to tease out. That, you, that the best leaders show they care at the same time they challenge directly. There's three mistakes that all of us make all the time. One of the mistakes is when you do challenge, but you fail to show that you care personally. That I call obnoxious aggression. Another mistake is, which we often make when we realize we've been a jerk, and we, instead of moving the right direction on care personally, we move the wrong direction on challenge directly, and we neither show we care nor challenge the other person directly. That I call manipulative insincerity. And then the third mistake that we all make all of the time is when we do care so much about the other person, we're so unwilling to hurt their feelings, that we fail to challenge them directly. And that I call ruinous empathy. And so what I'm trying to teach the students today is, is how to be aware when they're moving in the direction of radical candor or when they're moving in one of these other directions. One of the things that made me so interested in radical candor, although I didn't call it that at the, at the time, was I had just started a software company. I had a team of about 65 people. I came into work one morning and a bunch of people, like 10 people, had sent me the same article. And the article was from research about how people would rather have a boss who's a total jerk than one who's really nice but incompetent. And I thought, are they sending me this because they think I'm incompetent or because they think I'm a jerk? And surely those are not my two choices as CEO of this company. And so sort of breaking free of that false dichotomy helped me develop the radical candor framework. Candor has been vital to me. I have been very fortunate to have some wonderful bosses who gave me very candid advice that steered me in the right direction throughout my career. One of the stories I talked about today was a time when my boss, seeing that I was unable to communicate effectively, told me that I was saying um a lot. And then I blew her off. And then she offered to pay for a speech coach. Once again, I blew her off. And then she looked at me and she said, when you say um every three words, it makes you sound stupid. Now, some people would think that was mean of her to say it that way, but in fact, it was the kindest thing she could have done for me in my career, because if she hadn't said it to me just that way, I never would have gone to see the speech coach. So I told a lot of little stories like that today about how these simple moments in your career where somebody is candid with you can set you on a whole different trajectory. If you can learn to say what you really think, to the people who you work with, the people who you care about, in a way that shows you're open to debate, to being proven wrong, and in a way that shows that you care about them, then all of your relationships will be so much better. I often give the radical candor talk to groups of leaders in organizations, and somebody will come running up to me afterwards and say, if only I had heard this five years ago, I wouldn't be divorced. So what you learn at work will help you in your personal life and what you learn about relationships in your personal life, you should bring with you to work. Mm -hmm.